In this tutorial video, we're going to be looking at something that is called an array. And then we're going to be seeing how to declare and initialize that array in Java. So in Java, an array is a container object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type. Now, for those of you that don't know what an object is in Java, don't worry. We'll be seeing precisely what an object is in future videos. So just for the moment, think of an array as a container that holds a fixed number of values of a single type. The length of an array is established when the array is created. So once you've created your, your um, array, you cannot change its length. Its length is fixed once it's been created. So this is a theoretical, um, or this is an illustration of what uh, an array should look like theoretically, obviously. So each item in, a, in a, an array is called an element. So as you can see, this array has 10 elements depicted by these squares here. And each element is accessed by its numerical index, which is just above here. So an index is basically a numeric association to an element in a collection of data and, an, and uh, an index always starts at zero, not at one. So in Java, keep this in mind, an index or a list of, um, of uh, indexes or indices, excuse me, um, will start at zero and not at one. So as you can see here in the illustration, as I said, numbering starts at zero. So for example, um, if we wanted to access the ninth element of our array, so you can count up to the ninth square, which is here, um, we would be accessing it at index eight, which is the case, as you can see. <coughs> So that's what uh, an array should look like theoretically by illustration. And here we have an example of a code um, for when we want to declare and initialize an array. So let's start by looking at the first line of code here. As you can see, it, we have int, uh, two brackets, an array. So what we're doing here is we're, first of all, um, declaring what type of array uh, we want to use. So arrays are like variables. You can declare all of the types that are available to you in Java. So for example, uh, you can declare uh, the float type, the uh, double type, character type, etc, etc. In this case, we're declaring an int array, or an int type of array. And then we have, uh, this is followed by the name of the array. So in this example, it's been called an array. Next line, we're declaring the number of um, elements we want in our array. So as you can see, uh, it's the same principle. We can declare the type of element or elements we want in our array. So again, we're using the int type. But as I said before, you can use um, any of the types that are available to you in Java. And then next, we are uh, assigning values to each of uh, our elements that we created beforehand. So in this first case, we're assigning the value of 100 to the, uh, to ele um, excuse me, to the element at index zero. Then we are assigning the value of 200 to the element at index one, etc., etc., and then right at the end of uh, our code here, we are uh, printing out the values of the uh, of the elements in question. So uh, that's the theory behind the array. Uh, in the next step, we're going to put this into practical use using uh, Eclipse. So meet me in the next step. So now let's try and declare and uh, initialize an array for ourselves. So let's start off by um, declaring an array. And for this example, we want to declare an array of integers. So we start off by typing int brackets like so. 
and then we'll call our array uh, an array just for this example so we've um, declared uh, an array type int and we've named it uh, an array so next line we want to allocate memory for let's say four integers so what that means is we want four elements in our array and those elements must be type integer so we type the name of our array so an array equals new <coughs> the type of um, element we uh, of elements we want so int and then between brackets um, we want four elements like so semicolon okay so now we've uh, declared our array and the number of elements it has inside it so now what we're going to do is we're going to initialize the first element so let's go down a bit and start by typing the name of our array an array between brackets we want to um, initialize the first element so remember the indexing is zero always start off by zero and not one so we're going to assign a value of a hundred to our um, element at index zero <clears throat> so let's fill in the other uh, elements so an array index 1 value of 200 an array 2 oops, 300 and then the last uh, element which is at index 3 equals 400 so now we've assigned values to the elements at these indexes so we have our four uh, elements that have values assigned to them and then just to see if this works we're going to print out the values of those elements at the corresponding at the cor corresponding indices so system dot out print line element at index zero at index zero and we're going to add variable to that so an array so and then just to gain time we're going to copy this out three times paste it three times so in this case we want to um, print out the, um, the value of the element at index 1 make sure you change these again this one is index 2 like so and then the last element at the last index like so so let's try this out see if it works okay <coughs> and as you can see it prints out the values of the elements at the corresponding uh, indices so th that's how you use um, well that's how you declare and initialize um, arrays in Java